I'm in a spacecraft frame of mind. Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Maximax's Models here. And after my space-oriented adventures on my last trip, I thought, you know what? I was just working on that Soyuz and I needed some touch-ups. So while I was sitting at the desk watching YouTube videos, I decided to go ahead and get to work on it. And the first thing I had to do was add on a few little parts I'd left off, uh, paint the insides of the engine nozzles red, and then uh, fit everything onto the gantry system and play with it a little bit to see how it looked. With There are a couple of different ways to display it, which are in the instruction sheet. You know, you have to have uh, the carrier mounted on the upper level because the rocket actually extends below the carrier so you, you have to rearrange the stands and everything but it's okay they, they give you instructions on how to do that had to uh, glue a few of the pieces in that were just press fit and were a little wobbly but uh, the only thing I did after that was to decal it and it also has these uh, foil uh, stick on pieces uh, for the uh, lower engine uh, area and uh, it's just it's a really interesting little kit. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job with it. It's a little different. Um, you do need glue to build it, but a lot of the stuff can press fit in. And the nice thing about that is if you want to like show it without the uh, added on boosters, you know, just a narrow rocket, you can take it apart and show just the capsule. There's just a lot of different ways to display it. It's very convenient for that. And also I uh, they had the little uh, press on stickers. The, the, the water slide decals are used on the capsule area and the press on stuff is used down in the engines. And I also had some press on stickers for the uh, Soyuz solar panels, little spacecraft solar panels. But it's all together. It's up on the shelf. I really like it. It's a great shelf model because like I say, it's not exactly super tight fits on some stuff, but it looks great up on the shelf and that's all that matters. And now for those of you who may be interested, I'm just going to run uh, some footage of, that I took of both the uh, blast off out of the Cape and also the Starlink. And I'll just string it together after the uh, uh, outro so you can look at it if you want to. You guys take care of yourselves. We'll see you later and as always, model on.